All right, going to go over some of the atheist lies and just cherry picking of the Bible and just twisting of God's word. Typical of the atheist reprobates, and not all of them are reprobates, but many of them, I believe, some of them that are just hardcore, just militantly atheist, I believe they could be reprobates. And I want to start off by saying that I myself, I am a former atheist. I was an atheist for about two years and then I got out of it. So uh, I actually do, I am familiar with a lot of the atheist arguments against God. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a heads up, I will be using some attitude and some hard speech in this video because I don't believe in, in censorship, I don't believe in you know toning back what I say. So uh, I am going to be using some, some hard language. And uh, if you're an atheist that is willing to listen and willing to just listen and, and hear me out, um, this is not directed towards you, but if you're an atheist who just who just will not listen and will just is just probably already typing their little nasty comment right now, typical of them. But this is directed at you if you are one of those types. But what does the Bible say about wars and that kind of stuff? They'll say the Bible is condoning wars and that kind of stuff, and the Bible is a violent book. Really, let's see about that. First of all, what does the Bible say about atheists? And I understand the atheists are probably already turned off the video, writing their nasty comments, and going back and do whatever idiotic stuff they do. Typical of them, but what do you expect? But what does the Bible say about atheists? What does the Bible call the atheists who just deny the, the plain evidence for God? Psalms 14.1 The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. None that doeth good. What about communism? You know? Communism, which killed millions of people in the name of atheism. The uh, atheist communists in the Soviet Union, they were acting according to atheism. The, the official doctrine of the Communist Party was atheism. You know, what about the League of Militant Atheists? Killing people in the name of atheism. Yes, that does exist. And they'll say, what about the Catholic Church? Nice. Roman Catholicism is not bible believing Christianity. Roman Catholicism is a very, very false, satanic, pagan cult. It is not the faith that Jesus Christ gave to the world. And by the way, the atheist communists killed more people in the 20th century than the pagan Catholics killed throughout the entire Middle Ages. Think about that. Psalms 53, verse 1. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God, corrupt are they, they have done abominable iniquity, there is none that doeth good. It goes back to this thing of the communism, you know, the atheist communists over in North Korea who are oppressing freedom. You know, when you let state atheism run your country, you get China, you get communism, you know, that's what it comes down to. But what about this thing of the Bible condoning violence? They'll say well, the Old Testament condones violence. Really? Okay, what's the disp what's the dispensational context of the of the Old Testament? And again, a these atheists these atheists, you know, punks always love to do this. They'll look for contradictions, they'll cross dispensational lines. Say, see, see there's a contradiction there. Never mind all the tons of contradictions in the uh, atheist false science. Oh no, the Bible has contradictions, even though they're crossing dispensational lines. Again, I have videos on dispensationalism. But what does the Bible, does the Bible condone, hmm, truck going by, does the Bible condone violence? Let me show you that. Matthew 5, 9. What does Jesus say? Matthew chapter 5, verse number 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. Where does it say, kill for Jesus Christ? And you say, what about the Catholics? So, I, I guarantee you they're going to, you know, regardless of what I said, they're going to keep saying the Catholics, the Catholics. Again, Catholicism is a very false pagan cult. Again, Jesus, he just says there, blessed are the peacemakers. Now, obviously, the, the dispensational context of this is in the Millennial Kingdom. But it still, it still proves that Jesus Christ is not telling us to go kill people for him. Ridiculous. And again, how does it, again, the, the Roman Catholics did kill a lot of people. But the atheist communists killed way more people in the 20th century alone than the Roman Catholic pagans ever did uh, throughout their entire history. Galatians chapter 5, verse, Galatians 5, it says verse 22 to 23, says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Uh, Peace, long suffering. Hmm. Sounds very peaceful to me. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to, to 30. Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. I understand the atheists are probably just still writing. I mean, if, if they've even made it this far, if they have enough sense to even make it this far and enough, you know, brain cells to even make it this far, they probably are still writing their nasty comment. But 
What do you expect? I used to do that a lot when I was an atheist. Thank goodness I got out of the science fiction cult of atheism. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hmm, interesting. You wouldn't find that in communist China or Soviet Russia. My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Hmm, interesting. So that's my response to some of these atheist, you know, punks out there who just try to misquote the Bible, cross dispensational lines. Obviously, they can't understand the Bible because the spirit of truth is not dwell indwelling inside these punks. So hey, these fools, what the Bible calls them, these fools who deny God. But what do you expect? These science ignorant fools. So I wanted to give my response to that. And again, some attitude being used, but don't care. I mean, um, in terms of, and obviously I, I love atheists, I do want to see them get saved, but sometimes you have to just use some attitude to wake these people up. You know, and again, I'm a former atheist, so I, I, I you know, the only way I got woken up was after some attitude. So, yeah, that's my response. So, yeah, the Bible does not condone violence. The Bible, the, the, under the, the Old Testament nation of Israel, they're, they're under a military theocracy. It's not for us today, again, crossing dispensational lines, which atheists always love to do. So yeah, Jesus Christ does not condone violence. He tells us to be peacemakers, all this stuff. So no, the Bible's not a violent book. That would be Roman Catholicism. And the Catholic Church killed true Bible-believing Christians, by the way, that refused to bow to the pagan papal traditions and would deny the word of God. So that's my response. Hopefully you atheists actually made it through this whole video. If not, not surprised. I expect it. So thank you for watching. God bless you. Goodbye.